In my previous video, I talked about my ideas for new courses that could be in Mario Kart 9. Well, in today's video, I have another idea. Something that Nintendo hasn't done in a Mario Kart series yet. In Mario Kart 9, I think it would be cool if there were game-themed cups, meaning all four courses are based off the same game series. So here's a list of five themed cups that I would put into Mario Kart 9. Starting off with the first cup, we have the Green Star Cup. As you may have guessed by now, this one is based off Super Mario 3D World. The first track of the cup would of course be based off Super Bell Hills. The course could be full of clear pipes that can be driven through, and cat goombas that block the driver's way. The second course would be Toxic Jungle Drift. If you watched my previous video, I talked about a jungle themed track based on the jungle levels in 3D World. Toxic Jungle Drift could be placed into this cup because in my opinion, it would be a good choice. The third course should be based off Bowser's Fury. The track should be three sections instead of three laps. The racers start at First Step Island. Racers drive around all the islands and then make their way to Mount Magmeow, where they finish the race. And for the final course, we obviously have Bowser's Circus. This course would look amazing as a Mario Kart course. All the flashing lights while it's pouring rain would look so cool. The next cup should be the Wing Cap Cup. This cup is based off the video game Super Mario 64. The first track should be Bob on Battlefield. In my previous video, I stated how much fun this level would be. It's the first level of Super Mario 64, so it makes sense that it's the first course in this cup. Racers would drive around to the top of the mountain, then glide all the way back down to start the lap over. The second course would be based off Tall Tall Mountain. I always loved seeing how quickly I could get to the top of the mountain when I played Mario 64. So having a Mario Kart track where you race others to the top of the mountain would be a really cool course. The third track should be based off the level Tiny Huge Island. I think it would be cool if the players started on the small version of the island, then when they start the next lap, they go through a pipe which sends them to the giant side of the island. Switching from the small and giant side would be a cool feature in this course. And for the last course, we have Bowser in the Sky. It's the final level in Super Mario 64, so finishing the cup with this Bowser themed track just makes sense. This level would make a really fun and stress inducing course. That's all for that cup. Time for the Cappy Cup. Obviously you know by now this cup is based off Super Mario Odyssey. This game is filled with so many amazing kingdoms, so picking four was difficult. For the first track, the best option would be Cascade Kingdom, since it's the first kingdom you truly visit after starting the game. Being able to drive around while avoiding the Chain Chomps and even the T-Rex would be super cool. The second track should be based off the Seaside Kingdom. This kingdom was always one of my favorites. Racers would start on the beach, then they would make their way to the Sandy Cave. They would drive up to the very top of the cave, then they would glide all the way down into the bubbling, sparkling water. Being able to drive around the open underwater area opens up so many possibilities for cool track layouts. It would be an amazing course. For the third track, we of course have New Donk City. I talked about this track in my previous video. New Donk City needs to become a course no matter what. It would most likely be my favorite track ever. Being able to drive around the city dodging taxis as pedestrians cheer for you would be so much fun. For the final course, we have the moon. For the final course, I was deciding between Bowser's Kingdom and the moon, but Mario Kart already has plenty of Bowser tracks, and I think driving on the moon would be a unique course idea. It would be three sections instead of three laps. You start on the bright side of the moon. You would race around the church as you make your giant jumps over pits due to low gravity. By the second lap, you're on the dark side of the moon. Racers would race around the giant carrot. Then by the third lap, you're on the darker side. I think it would be cool being able to race around the giant building on the darker side, then finishing the race next to the crowd of characters cheering for you as Pauline sings. It would make a cool course to finish the Cappy Cup. Now, for the fourth cup, we have the Super Sea Snail Cup, based off the Splatoon series. There are a ton of courses to choose from. There's Splatoon courses, Splatoon 2 courses, and even Splatoon 3 courses, even though we don't know what they are yet. But I had to narrow down the dozens of online and single player maps to four courses. The first course should be Moray Towers. In my opinion, it's a map that many would remember from the first Splatoon. So it represents the series well, and it would be a really fun Mario Kart course. The second course should be The Reef. This was one of the first stages introduced in Splatoon 2, so I think having the second course a Splatoon 2 theme track is a good fit. The third track should be set in the story mode of Splatoon 2. The track shouldn't be based on a certain level, but rather the hub world. 
drivers would be able to race around each sector, starting at Tentacule Outpost and finishing at Cephalon HQ. The drivers would be shot out of ink cannons gliding from sector to sector. It would be a cool and unique track idea. The fourth track in the Super Sea Snail Cup is of course based off Splatoon 3. We know little about Splatoon 3 as of now, so I can't really talk about the course too much. But whatever the course would be, it would be a really good one. That's all for that cup, now on to the final cup. The final cup should be the Sheikah Eye. This cup is of course based off Breath of the Wild. The first course should be the Great Plateau. I think driving through the woods while Bokoblins get in your way would be such a cool idea. Being able to drive around the Great Plateau while looking at all the scenery would be such a cool course. The second course should be Zora's Domain. Driving around the trails that lead up to the domain would be super cool. Drivers then race around the domain. After that, they then make their way up the mountain where the Lionel acts as an obstacle. Drivers then drive off the tall diving cliff. They then glide all the way down to the bottom to start the lap over again. The third course will take place around Death Mountain. Racers would be able to drive around Goron City and drive near giant pools of lava. Once racers make their way around Death Mountain, they get shot out of one of the bomb cannons, gliding by the Divine Beast as they make their way to the finish line. And for the final track in the cup, we have Hyrule Castle. Starting at the gates while voiding guardians would be such a cool opening. Then you make your way into the castle, driving around the hallways and through the rooms avoiding moblins. The castle is so big that having a course entirely inside of it would be so cool. Breath of the Wild's map is so big that Nintendo could make dozens of tracks based off this amazing game. Anyways, those were my ideas for 5 game series themed cups. There are many other games that would have amazing tracks, like Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, and Majora's Mask. Wouldn't a track based on Clocktown from Majora's Mask be awesome? Now I really want Clocktown as a course. Speaking of, what video games would you make 4 tracks into if you could? Let me know down in the comments. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, I'm a Nintendo fan, and thanks for watching.